Question 9. Here is a diagram for sorting numbers. Write each number in its correct place on the diagram. Now let's just double check what this diagram means. So we've got two digit numbers in this circle, multiples of 5 in the middle circle, three digit numbers in the end circle. If a number doesn't fit into any of those three headings, then it's got to go in the space outside the circles. So in other words, in any of this space round here. Okay, now the easiest thing to do here is just take each number in turn. So let's look at the number 2. So the number 2, has it got two digits? No, it hasn't. Has it got, is it a multiple of 5? Is it in the 5 times table? No, it's not. Has it got three digits? No, it hasn't. So actually the number 2 doesn't fit into any of the three circles. So we need to put the number 2 outside of the three circles so the number 2 can be written anywhere in here. So let's just pop it there. Right, the number 20. Does it have two, digit, two digits? Yes, it does. Is it a multiple of 5? Yes, it is. Is it three digits? No, it isn't. So it has got two digits and it's a multiple of 5. So it's got to go in both this circle and also in this circle. Now to get it in both circles at once, we put it in the overlapping bit, which is here. So basically, popping the number 20 in there means it is in both circles. What you shouldn't do is write the number 20 in both circles like this. They don't want to see that because that is not an efficient way of doing it. Yes, 20 has got two digits and yes, 20 is a multiple of 5. But they want to know that you realise that you can put it in both circles at once by putting it in the overlapping bit. So it's all about the overlapping bit. Right, the number 201, is it got two digits? No, it hasn't. Is it a multiple of 5? Well, multiples of 5 end in a 0 or a 5, and that ends in a 1, so no, it is not. Is it a three-digit number? Yes, it is. So 201 has to go in this circle, but it can't go in the overlapping bit, because if it goes over the overlapping bit, we're saying it's a multiple of 5 and it ends in a 1 and that can't be a multiple of 5 so it's got to go in this circle but not in the overlapping bit so we've just got to put 201 in there okay the number 2000 is it a two digit number no is it a multiple of 5 yes because it ends in a 0 so it is a multiple of 5 is it a three digit number no because this actually has four digits so the only one it satisfies is a multiple of 5. So it's got to go somewhere in this circle. But it can't go in this overlapping bit with the 20 because it hasn't got two digits. And it can't go in this overlapping bit because it hasn't got three digits. It's actually got four digits. So it's got to go in this bit here, but not in the overlapping bits. So 2000 will have to go in there. And that's it. The number 2 fits into none of the categories. The number 20 is a two-digit number and is a multiple of 5. The number 201 is just a three-digit number. The number 2000 is just a multiple of 5.